Ford Bronco, an iconic off-roader with decades of history and a huge, loyal following. Since the launch of the original back in 1965, one of Michigan's finest exports has been nipped and tucked to keep it among the best 4x4s around. But the Bronco was cancelled back in the mid-90s, leaving a horse-shaped gap in the adventurer's car shopping list. Until now. Because this is the all-new Bronco. The latest version gets retro looks, bags of off-road tech and a bargain starting price when deliveries start in spring 2021. Now, if any of that rebirth of an icon stuff sounds a bit like deja vu, we couldn't blame you. It feels like we've just been through all this with the new Land Rover Defender. But who has nailed the 4x4 formula best, USA or Britain? Let's find out by taking a look at some of the coolest features that the Bronco has to offer. The Bronco comes as standard as a two-door, but for the first time ever, Ford will build a four-door version too. Ford designers have clearly channeled some Mark 1 energy for the new model, which is covered with fantastic retro touches like that front light and grille combo. If the new Defender has the vibe of an urbanite about it, the Bronco is anything but. The boxy shape and slab sides scream 4x4 louder than the Suzuki Jimny that spent lockdown on a diet of beef and protein shakes. And leg day clearly has not been skipped either, with chunky 35 inch tyres available on some versions. Not to be outdone by the latest Jeep Wrangler, Ford would also let owners strip off their Bronco. The doors and roof panels are all removable, allowing for a fully open air experience. And unlike the Jeep, the Bronco's side mirrors are attached to the pillars rather than the doors, so you can still see what's behind when they're off. While losing all that metalwork might make you feel a little exposed, at least Ford has fitted a sturdy roll cage just in case the going gets a little too tough. But tough going doesn't look like it'll hinder the Bronco too much if Ford's claims are anything to go by. Vital stats like ground clearance, suspension travel, approach and departure angles are all said to be class leading. But while that may be the case for approach angles, in reality its 850mm wading depth is actually 50mm less than the Defender, and the Landy also has matching ground clearance and superior departure angle. Like the Land Rover, the Bronco gets an advanced suite of tech, which aims to flatter the novice explorer while adding enjoyment for the pros. Seven driver selectable modes are offered, and these include Normal, Eco, Sport, Slippery in Sand, Baja, Mud Ruts and Rock Crawl each choosing to send power through all four wheels in the most effective way possible. Now, don't think for a second that Ford has forgotten about the cabin either. That rugged exterior is matched by a cockpit full of sturdy, flat surfaces, beefy grab handles and switch gears so chunky that it looks like it could be worked with a big wrench and a lump hammer. The colour schemes on offer are supposed to complement the clothing of typical outdoorsy types and everything is trimmed in materials designed to stand up to a load of abuse. Like the outside, some interior features make a nod to the original Bronco, but those retro-themed dials are now fully digital. The instrument panel is one of two screens inside, sitting beside an 8 or 12 inch display in the centre of the dash. These operate Ford's latest SYNC 4 tech and get special off-road navigation functions with pre-selected off-road trail routes. The Bronco also gets a 360 degree camera, just in case you'd like a great view while still keeping the doors attached. If the interior gets a bit grubby after a hard day on the trail, cleaning shouldn't be a problem either. The Bronco is offered with rubberized floors, drain holes and mildew resistant seat upholstery. Under the bonnet, the Bronco comes with a choice of two petrol engines. The first is a 2.3 litre turbocharged four cylinder that's related to the one in the latest Focus ST. And here it produces a similar 270 brake horsepower and 420 newton meters of torque. At the top of the range is a 2.7 litre V6 turbo bumps those stats up to 310 brake horsepower and 542 newton meters. Both models are available with Ford's 10-speed automatic transmission, while the 2.3 is also offered with a 7-speed manual. There's a wide range of trim levels to choose from, available with butch names like Wild Track and Badlands. And if you don't think that the Bronco looks cool enough already, or that it's somehow still not quite capable enough off-road, Ford will allow buyers to option up to 200 factory-backed accessories for extra customization. And while all this off-road goodness doesn't sound cheap, well, you'd be wrong. The entry-level two-door Bronco is set to start from a fiver under $30,000. That's just under £24,000. But there is just one problem. Ford has no plans to bring the Bronco to the UK. But what do you reckon? Should Ford sell it here? Leave your comments below and make sure to like this video and see more like it, subscribe to the Auto Express channel.